Hi again, YouTubers. This is an overview of my skincare routine. A lot of you have requested to hear what I do, what I use, to hear about the facials I get, um, and all of that. I'm going to start with the facials. Um, I want to say it was about a year and a half ago um, I started going for microderm, mini microderm abrasion, and laser facials. Um, and what that is, is I had a lot of, after going to my dermatologist um, and having some sunspots removed from being in the sun when I was younger a lot, um, using tanning beds, things like that, and unfortunately I was not smart about it, and skin cancer runs in my family, and I, luckily it is all uh, surface cell able to be removed, all of that, but it scared me enough to make me really, really get in control of my skin and make sure that I take really good care of it. As you've seen, I have a ton of uh, self-tanner videos and finding the best one, and the reason I did that is because of the fact that I'm always in search for the best one so that I don't have to go out in the sun and chance uh, skin cancer. So, I go, well, I started out in the beginning with these facials, you start out by going once every four weeks. They do a mini microdermabrasion, which is, um, you guys have heard of microdermabrasion, but this one is actually with a diamond um, particle, and it actually just kind of, it feels like a vacuum kind of on your skin um, with little sand pieces in it, but it's very, very relaxing. I love it. Um, again, all of these things are gonna depend on your threshold for pain because I have an extremely, extremely high threshold for pain, but a lot of people really like uh, the microdermabrasions even if they don't have a high threshold for pain. So they go through and they do a mini microdermabrasion on your face. After that, I get a laser treatment. Now, the laser treatment, what it basically does is it is a laser, it feels like a bee stinging you on your face is the easiest way I can explain it really quickly. As soon as they lift it up, lift the laser up, it goes away. They do four passes on my face, and a pass means they start once on my forehead, once on my cheeks, each cheek, nose, round the lips and the chin, okay? And you're wearing goggles. And what the laser does is it actually goes down four layers of skin and tightens that skin. So in other words, it's not like a chemical peel. You're not gonna lose your top layer of skin. Um, it's going underneath your skin, so by the time that fourth layer comes up, your skin no longer has the marks underneath of it. It no longer has the um, possible scarring that's there um, and things such as that. It also helps your skin become tighter as it comes up. So as I got older, I decided to start doing this. I now, after one year of doing it every four weeks, I now went on to a treatment of, I only go every three months or seasonally, meaning I went in January, I went in April. So every three months you go in. Now, um, a couple things about these treatments is, you don't see that automatic result. But over time, you definitely, as your skin comes up, you see a difference in the radiance of your skin. When you go for these laser treatments also, beforehand, you have to stop any retin-A, any type of treatment. You can't go in the sun for four days before, four days after, um, things like that. So that is the basis of what I do. I'm down to going once every three months and I love it. I love what it has done for my skin. It got rid of sunspots that I had. Now, I also, by the way, I had very, I had three very dark sunspots on this cheek and two up here. I had an additional higher frequency laser done there. Normally, when I'm done with my laser treatment, my face just kind of looks red. It looks like I had a windburn is the easiest way to explain it. Um, and so that's what I normally look like. When I did the intense laser, which was a deeper laser to get rid of specific spots, that actually, the easiest way I can explain it is on those spots, they turned black, okay? And then they turned a purple shade. And as the skin, it became a scab and then fell off and the skin underneath was pink. So it removed that actual mark on my face. So. Those are some helpful hints. Now on to my daily skincare. So if you guys had any questions about what I just talked about, just put a comment below and I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability. Every day in the morning when I wake up, I wash my face with a face cloth. Face cloth. Um, I love the Biore and these are the daily cleansing cloths. And 
this is my last pack of those because X Barkage actually did a video on from Costco Kirkland's daily facial cleansing towelettes and this is one of the packs and it's huge this has how many does this have in it I don't remember sorry guys I think up oh, there it is this one has 30 in it and this one also has 30 in it look at the difference though these ones are really fluffy and they're great and I really it has uh, chamomile triple T complex and vitamin E in it I have started using these and it's also by the way for two packs of these at Target for the Biore it's like eight dollars for three 30 packs of this and two 15 packs it's eleven dollars at Costco so if you have a Costco membership give this a try they're by Kirkland it's the Costco brand so I've started using these and I really like them but I wipe my face down as soon as I get up in the morning to get rid of anything just you know how when you're sleeping you put your hands on your face you do all that kind of stuff so that's kind of just to get rid of anything that might be on my face in the morning then I use Patricia Wexler's MMPI skin regenerating serum this stuff's pretty cool. Honestly, easiest way to explain it is it looks like a pink Vaseline. This, for my skin, gives me really great elasticity. Um, it makes my skin really soft, and it sinks right in, and it just gives it such a beautiful sheen without looking oily. This stuff scared me at first, and a lot of people that watched my original skincare video were, like, scared about it, and then tried it, and they loved it. So, just a helpful hand on that. So I put that on, and then I put one of two products on. I used to always use, always use Patricia Wexler's Intensive 3-in-1 Day Cream with an SPF of 30, and this just looks like your normal skin cream for the morning. Um, it's really nice, it sinks in well, and it gives you a really nice feeling. Now recently, I have started using Max Lightful, and it's their Deep Ultra Moisture Cream and this is what it looks like it's hard to read this is more of a gel consistency than a cream but I really love the scent of it I like the way it feels on my face um, but I'm not sure this is harder to get a hold of and Patricia Wexler is available at Bath and Body Works and there is always a coupon for them so I'm uh, not sure yet but I use both of them it just depends on the mood I'm in during the day um, and during the day, I also use Coors Olive and Rye Eye Cream, Anti-Aging and Firming. You guys have seen me do a review on this. It literally lightens under eye circles. It's amazing. I love this product. Um, and you can buy this at Sephora.com. So that's it. Then I wait a couple minutes, um, put on my self-tanner if I feel like it. Um, and I use a primer before I put on my makeup. I use Max Prep and Prime SPF 50, and then I use Clarins Instant Perfector for under my eyes and around my lips, areas that have uh, fine lines. That's my primer for those. Um, nighttime. Sorry guys, I told you this is gonna be a long video. I wipe my face down with one of my pads and um, get all the basis of makeup off, and then I use my Clarisonic. This is my Clarisonic and I am in love with it. There are other less expensive options out there and watch my Clarisonic video if you're interested in finding out what they are because there are great inexpensive options if you don't wanna spend the money on this. Um, I personally did not like the cleansers that came with this but I loved the MAC Lightful and it is the Foaming Cream Cleanser. I love the way my face feels after I use this. So I use these two together at night after I use one of the face wash cloths and it still has makeup on it. So you know that the cloths alone, if you're using those guys, are not getting all your makeup off your face. So now because of the laser treatments I do and the microdermabrasion and the dermatologist I go to and all that good fun stuff, I use two things at night. Um, I use Abaji's Blender, which is their fifth step. Now the reason I can't use the whole line is I am allergic to sulfur and most of their products have sulfur in it. This is one of the few that does not have sulfur in it, but the blender is actually the skin lightening and blending cream, and it helps keep um, your skin tone even and keeps the actual marks that you might have or skin spot, sunspots or things like that, it lightens those. Now, you're not supposed to use this on your own. You are supposed to mix it with a Retin-A formula. I'm gonna show you the backside. This is 
because the front side has my information on it. This is a prescription, guys. You have to go to a dermatologist to get this. This is a Retin-A lotion. This is not straight Retin-A, okay, guys? It is a Retin-A lotion. It is 0.02% of Retin-A along with, mixed with a lotion by a compounding pharmacy, okay? So I mix a little bit of this with a little bit of this and put it on my face at night. Um, I still use an eye cream. At night, I use Clinique's Repair Wear Intensive Eye Cream. I've used this for years and I really like this. It's a great product. However, I got a sample of Chanel's eye cream and when this one's up, when this one's over, I'm gonna go with the uh, Clinique one. Or, sorry, Cl Chanel one. <laughs> so I am gonna go change on this. Um, like I said, when I do go for my laser, lasers, however, um, and when my skin gets really dry, on top of those two, um, or in place of them, I use Patricia Wexler's Intensive Night Reversal and Repair Cream with MMPI, okay? Um, when I go to do lasers, you cannot put a bleaching product or a Retin-A product on your face for four to five days beforehand. So I use this. This is a really, really nice cream, and I when my face feels a little dry from all of the retin-a products and the, and the bleaching products some nights i just use this but i always go back to this on my four nights before i go for my um, laser facials a couple other quick products is when i'm in the shower <laughs> i have a lot of skincare products sorry guys um, when i'm in the shower and i'm just washing off my face um, i use skin genesis pore minimizing gel cleanser I just like having this in there. It doesn't work well with my Clairsonic, um, but it works great just to get that uh, gritty feeling of makeup off of your face, and I really like it. Um, and when I am in the shower, now I only do this two, three times max a week, okay? If you do it more than that, it's gonna break your face out. This is by MAC, and it's the right microfine refinisher. It's a great, great product. If you guys have ever used an exfoliator on your face, this is totally different. Normal exfoliators, you really feel the beads. This is so fine, it feels like sand when you go to the beach. Really, really fine sand. Um, and I love it. But again, remember, with exfoliators, only use them two or three times a week or your skin will break out. It'll have an adverse reaction because it's trying to produce more oils to replace what you took off of your skin. So um, that is my shower regimen. Then my kind of every once in a while type of things is if I have a breakout at night, I put on Proactive Solutions Refining Mask. I love this stuff. It dries out the area that has the breakout and when I wake up in the morning, it has gone down tremendously. So I usually use it two nights in a row and I'm done and it's gone. So I love that. Um, another product I use is Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Peel Pads. It's a 20% glycolic peel for your face, and they are peel pads. If you can see them, each one is, oops, is its own pad, and you wipe this over your face, you leave it there for up